welcome to this video series where I answer questions from the readers of Monivator.com. Monivator is the leading UK website for personal finance related issues. Um, the question in this video comes from Sandeep who asks whether widespread dividend cuts will affect my view of the attractiveness of equities as an asset class. I should say this video is shot in June 2020 so amid the corona pandemic and a uh, lot of companies have cut dividends uh, because of the highly uncertain economic future. Um, but the answer to the question is, it doesn't really. Uh, I'm not aware of studies that suggest that a lower dividend yield will automatically lead to lower overall returns for equities going forward. Um, even if that was the case in the past, it's not clear that that will be the case in the future. Now, overall returns will obviously mean both dividend and, um, and capital gains from, from owning these uh, stocks. Now, obviously, the change in dividend is often seen as a sign from management of how things really are. And an unexpected lowering of a dividend will very often lead to a massive price drop as it's essentially management saying we don't have the cash to pay the dividends that we thought we did. And that, that signaling is very bad. But it's a very good assumption to say that the market prices adjust quickly to these new circumstances. And, and therefore, it's a, it's a very bold statement to say that you can outperform the markets post these kind of dividend announcements. Um, similarly, that is true for the, the overall, the wider markets. Um, now, just talking briefly about uh, dividend cuts in the corona pandemic. Now, what, what, what happened when the coronavirus uh, spread globally quickly, um, it really happened, the markets reacted, it happened much quicker than companies around the world were announcing dividend cuts. So uh, the, the dividend cut announcement didn't lead perhaps to the same uh, magnitude of, of, of uh, price movement simply because the market were already expecting uh, these, these, uh, these dividend cuts. Of course, there were still surprises, both positive and negative, uh, from the signal and effect of, of changes to the dividends. But, but nothing systematic, in my view, could have been predicted, certainly not by regular retail investors. Now, more broadly speaking, I say some people like receiving dividends and others don't. For me, that's often uh, a lot to do with tax, uh, your, your specific tax situation, the jurisdiction you're in, um, whether you want dividend um, or, or capital gains. Now, keeping in mind, let's say you have a, a hundred euro or a dollar a pound stock that's paying two in dividends, well, X dividends, so after the, 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 the dividend date, um, that stock should go to 98 euros. Um, and if you had a parallel situation where a stock didn't pay dividends, it should stay um, at 100. So that difference is going to be a larger capital gains or, or dividend. And what's better for you depends on, on your tax situation. Uh, so that's worth keeping in mind. But I don't think uh, the change in dividend uh, yield itself is a, that you can say, ex ante that that will impact the future profitability of the stock markets overall. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, my name is Lars Croyer. I'm a former hedge fund manager who has written a couple of books about finance. And I'm now doing these videos as a hobby. Um, to say the premise of a lot of my work evolves around how incredibly hard it is for most investors to outperform the markets. Um, in my other videos in my books, I explain what this means and why, in my view, it is, uh, it's a very, very uh, important and valuable thing for most people to be understand and embrace this premise um, and, and, and act on in their personal portfolios. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, and, uh, and I'll see you back here on the channel for future videos. Thanks a lot.